Hello and welcome to Morvish Cuisine, my desi kitchen with the western touch. Today I'm sharing the recipe of pea stuffed potato cutlets. Crispy crusty covering outside with the spicy mashed potatoes inside. And yeah, there's a surprise in the middle. Peas it is. A yummy snack for your tea time or your side dish for your lunch and dinner parties. Let's go and make it happen. So for this yummy snack, we need boiled and mashed potatoes. Um, I have like around two to three cups. Boiled, peeled and mashed potatoes. Then we need chaat masala, a tablespoon or up to your taste. Then we need a bread slice. Uh, just take the crust out. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just soak it in the water, squeeze it and then I use it in the recipe. So one bread slice it is. Then we need tamarind pulp. Just take one eighth cup of the tamarind, just soak it in warm water and squeeze the pit out. Then I have peas. So just cook the peas with the salt and black pepper. And then we need a crushed black pepper according to your taste or about one teaspoon and salt according to your taste. So th those are all the ingredients which we're gonna combine and make our potato cutlets. So now take the mashed potatoes, add the soaked and squeezed bread slices, make sure no water is there. Then add um, chaat masala and a salt, a tablespoon of chaat masala and a teaspoon of salt. Again, you can adjust your seasoning. Then add tamarind pulp. Uh, I'll say add a little by little. So if you add more, the, the mixture will get too watery. So be careful with that. Then start mixing, add the black pepper and other seasoning, salt, and check your seasoning. Mix very, very well with your hand. Now the shaping part, um, take a spoonful, um, around two, two tablespoonful, um, make a ball and then um, try to flatten it into your palm with the fingers, with the help of your fingers. Make a little, little deep well in the middle and then take your uh, cook piece and try to fill it in the middle. Just try to cover the piece, make sure the piece won't peek out. Um, try to seal it all around with your finger. Um, just roll it in your palm again, smooth it out and uh, I shaped it oval, you can do like and you can make it in any shape, the smooth oval ball. So now use rest of your potato mixture and the pea mixture, shape them like this and put them in the single layer. Now the breading part, um, I use beaten egg, so just, just take a cutlet, dip them in the beaten egg and then in the breadcrumbs. Um, I always prefer to use fresh breadcrumbs. Just take bread slices, process them in your food processor. You will, you will all get that crispy texture outside with the fresh breadcrumbs. So yeah, that's my preference. I always try to use the fresh breadcrumbs. So just do the same with all your remaining cutlets. Put them in the single layer. You can freeze at this point too. Now the next part is frying. You can deep fry them, but I prefer to shallow fry. Just heat the oil, place them in your frying pan. Just go fry until they get very light, crispy golden color. And that's it. You're done. So here you are. Crispy golden crust outside. With the spicy, tangy potato mixture inside. This is my family recipe. It has my childhood memories. My grandmom used to make it. And my cousin Rizwana Api, she gave me this revival recipe. She gave me this to make to make it more tangy and spicy ideas. So I hope you guys like this recipe. If you try it, just leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer that as soon as I get the time. And see you next time with another yummy recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates and videos. Follow me on Facebook or on Instagram.